I've moved over to InDesign, so hopefully you have too. I have created a new InDesign document. It does not matter what the size is, and I made it have eight pages, just because eight pages kind of fits nicely on the pages panel, and we can kind of see all of them. So let's review how to do the things that we just covered in the lecture in InDesign. And so when you're working with multiple pages, you need to add those pages to your document. I created this document with eight pages, but maybe I decided after I created it that it should be a 12 or a 16 page document. There are many ways to add pages. You can select a page and at the bottom of your pages panel, you can hit the create new page icon or button and you can add multiple pages. Or a better option is to use a layout menu, pages and add a page. Um, I wouldn't say that's the better option um, if you're going to use the add one page at a time method. Um, but a better option for adding multiple pages is use a layout menu, pages, and then insert pages. I have 10 pages in my document. If I wanted to create a 16 page document, I would have to add 6 pages. And I'll add them after page 10 or at the end of my document. And now I have a 16 page document. As a side note, if you're making a book, um, almost all books are multiples of 16 pages because in printing, a 16 page signature is an ideal signature. Um, if a book is not a multiple of 16 pages, it must be a multiple of four pages for most binding methods. And so you should always make sure that the book or the booklet that you're working on, the first page should start on the right hand side because that's the first page of a book. And the last page should end on the left hand page and you should try to make it a multiple of 16 and if you can't make it a multiple of 16 at the very least it needs to be a multiple of four pages. You can also delete pages so if I add all those pages and I say you know what I didn't want it to be 16 pages I just want it to be eight pages you can select a page and hit the trash can at the bottom of the pages panel and it will disappear. You could do this over and over again or I'm going to click the first one or in this example the last one and hold shift and click page 9. So now I have pages 9 through 15 selected and I'm going to hit the trash can button. Some students like to click and drag so you can click and you can drag these to the trash can but you don't have to. You can just click on the trash can and they will also be deleted. If you're working in a document and you need to change the orientation, there are two options. You can change the actual orientation of the book. So the book I'm making right now is eight pages and it is in portrait orientation. If I was supposed to make a landscape book, you can go to the file menu, choose document setup, and inside here you can say, I made a mistake, it was not supposed to be portrait, it's supposed to be landscape. And then you can hit OK. And now if you look at my pages panel, the entire book is in landscape orientation. Another option, so I undid that, I did Command or Control Z if you're on a PC. If you're working on a booklet and one of the pages has some sort of design that would be sideways, um, you can rotate just the way you're seeing it. And we've already covered this in a previous video, so I'm going to do it really fast. So if I need to edit something, let's say on page 2 here, um, I can rotate the way that I'm seeing the page, but it doesn't affect the way the book is bound. And you would do that by selecting the page that you want to rotate. If you're working with spreads, you have to rotate the whole spread, so it doesn't matter if I choose one or two pages here. You can hit the Option Flyout menu, choose Page Attributes, and then Rotate Spread View, and then you can rotate 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on how you want to see the page. And then you can edit your project in landscape orientation just so that you can see it better. But then when you reset your rotation you will see that the whole time it was still going to be part of this portrait orientation book. You may also want to duplicate a page or spreads at some point in time. It's very easy to do that. Just select a page, hit the option flyout menu and then you can choose to duplicate the page. In my case, I have one page selected, but if I choose two pages and hit the Option Flyout menu, I'll have the option to duplicate the spread. You can see down here it duplicated the spread, but because page two was a left-hand side page and the next page in my document is a right-hand side page, it actually adjusted where those pages would land. The blue page now will be a right-hand side page and the blank white page of page three will be a left-hand page when it becomes page 10.